Hey guys, I'm Combat Craig. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about maximizing your VA disability rating. If we are going to go through the VA claims process, we need to focus on VA claims that are going to pay us for the effort and time that we're putting into these claims. And you got to get your head wrapped around this concept. It's called secondary VA claims. So Look through your rating code sheet, look through your ratings, and you're going to find those tens and zeros. Be like, wow, that sucks, hearing loss 0% or tinnitus 10%. So the VA rates things only so high. So once you've maximized your VA rating, then we need to go look at filing secondaries to further maximize, right? So just as an example, tinnitus 10%, but the tinnitus is debilitating like it is for me. Like literally, tinnitus sucks. Um, my solution has always been noise everywhere. Music on, noise machines. Like, you know, I'll be sleeping with the ex-wife at this point, girlfriend, whatever. Like, why does everything need to be so noisy all the time? So depression, secondary to tinnitus. Maybe they cause you headaches. Migraine, secondary to tinnitus. There's a lot of secondaries that you can layer in onto tinnitus. And today we're talking about high value VA claims that are going to actually move the needle. You know, if you have a 40, 50, 60% rating, you're working against the combined ratings table, you need to chuck some 50s in there to get into the hundo club. If you enjoy this kind of content, you support old combat Craig here, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with a friend, and if you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp at combatcraig.com. If you need medical evidence, email my med team. Links in the description. All right, let's start it off with bilateral plantar fasciitis. I want to start by showing you this rating because this has changed. The max for bilateral plantar fasciitis is now 40%. Plantar fasciitis affects your whole foot. It's a band that goes from your heel to the balls of your feet, and you can have plantar fasciitis in one foot or in both. Um, if you don't have it in both, you probably need to make the argument that it should be in both. It's a secondary claim. A 30% ratings when a veteran has no relief from surgical or non-surgical treatment meth methods. So that's shots, inserts, all that kind of stuff, arch supports, taping, all that kind of stuff. And then 30% only applies when it affects both feet. 20% is when the veterans meet the above requirements, but only impacts one foot. And then a 10% is for cases of plantar fasciitis classified as otherwise. So that could also be uh, applied to one or both feet. Now let's move on to obstructive sleep apnea. Here's our 50% rating for sleep apnea. And I'll say that sleep apnea claims can be tricky and they're usually denied because of lack of nexus. They like to fight the nexus because this is a 50% rating on its own, right? It's a high value claim. And then here is the marker right here for a 50% rating for sleep apnea. The veteran requires the use of a breathing device such as a CPAP machine. Another rating that veterans get is a 30% rating. That's basically daytime hypersomnolence or excessive daytime sleepiness. So 30 or 50, and then if you have a 0%, you didn't improve much at all. And if you have 100%, that's a whole different ball game. So 50% is what we're shooting for here. Now let's move on to major depressive disorder. This is a mental health claim. This one's worth 70%. Here's an example of a good solid rating of 70% for major depressive disorder. And here's the rating criteria for major depressive disorder for 70%. Occupational and social impairment with deficiencies in most areas of your work and social life. And you can see here that depression is actually listed as one of the symptoms here. So a lot of people want a PTSD claim and all mental health claims are the same. PTSD, generalized anxiety disorder, all of them are all lumped up into one mental health rating. So major depressive disorder is actually easier to win than uh, PTSD, and it's a symptom of PTSD. So path of least resistance, might as well go with the easier claim to win and get paid the same. All right, how about this one? Let's do the Combat Craig hat trick. This is the way you file a claim. Major depressive disorder at 70%. Migraines, 
sleep apnea, 50%. Here's what this looks like on paper. 70% for major depressive disorder, 50 for sleep apnea, and 50 for migraines. You can see some other things on here, but clearly this veteran started focusing on high value claims. And he's not going after the knee strain right and the shin splints and the knee strain left, even though he has service connection for them. He's increasing claims that are actually gonna get him into the hundo club. If we pop over to the calculator here, 70 plus 50 plus 50 equals 93% rounded down to 90. So you're already almost there. You literally need two more points to get to 95, round it up, in the hundo club. High value claims, make sure mental health is one of them. If you have a solid lower back rating, 40%, you might want to go this route. Here we have invertible disc syndrome of thoracolumbar spine, 40%. And then the little down arrows are secondaries. So right lower extremity, 40%. Left lower extremity, another 40%. And then a third secondary for somatic symptom disorder with depressive and anxious features. Somatic symptom disorder is the mental health part of the pain. So this veteran turned 140% rating added three more secondaries on it. And then once they're service connected, it doesn't say primary service connection or secondary service connection. They're just service connected. This is the way to go if this is what is going on in your body. Another way to go, traumatic brain injury at 70% and 100% rating for PTSD. Separated, they didn't combine the two. And you might even be lowballed for the TBI. So you might even qualify for a special monthly compensation team. So if you meet that criteria, that's a whole different ball game. That's over 10 grand a month, tax-free. All right, well, we're doing kind of lower ratings and then layering on secondaries. Let's do degenerative disc disease with secondaries. We have our anchor point, which is degenerative disc disease at 10%. And then secondary, sciatica, left lower extremity, 10%. Depressive disorder, 50%. Sciatica, right lower extremity, 10%. So that's turning a 10% rating for DDD, which may or may not need an increase, but definitely filing another 70% worth of secondaries will get this thing up and get you into the money. Here's a couple examples, 100% straight up. Chronic heart disease, 100%. Chronic fatigue syndrome, 100%. Lung cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. 100%. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp at combatcraig.com. If you need medical evidence, email my med team. Links in the description.